Mikkel Christoffersen, I'm the business manager of Odense Robotics, which is the cluster organization for robotic and automation companies in the city of Odense. So thank you, Mikkel, for joining this conference. I am curious, you are from Odense, from one of the strongest regional clusters we know in uh, Europe, and it's probably also one of the earliest, uh, as I think. Uh, how could you tell us how was it possible to establish a regional cluster which influences now the Danish innovation policy and how long did it take? And because many people ask us, is it just one year or four years? What is your experience? So uh, it's a big question, Uwe, but I'm happy to answer it. Well, thank you for asking. Um, the cluster of robotics in Odense has been growing for more than 25 years from a starting point at the steel sheet yard of Linu, owned by the Mass Group, who are looking into investing in robotics to increase productivity and increase quality in the production. That was logistics, or? No, it was uh, welding and ship. Oh, building. I see. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was actually the starting point. They started collaborating with the University of Southern Denmark. Um, they also invested in the Mask Institute at the university. And we saw companies slowly spinning out from the steel ship yard. So, um, so it's a cluster who has been growing for more than 25 years. And today there's more than 100 companies, actually there's 106 companies in the cluster, with more than 2,600 employees. So it's, it's on a local level, it's a really important also economic factor. Uh, but like you're saying, we also have an impact on the national innovation in Denmark. So the strong positions in the cluster is um, food automation, based on a long tradition for producing foods in Denmark. Uh, yes, I remember the in the food. 1990s, um, the, it was the, not the Ministry of uh, Research uh, or Technology, it was the Ministry of Agriculture and Fishery sponsoring programs for, for uh, funding programs um, uh, for robotics. Okay, that's before my time in robotics, yes. so I don't remember, I'm no, sorry. So this shows uh, how... But food automation is one of the strong positions mm -hmm. in the cluster. Another obvious strong position in the cluster is the collaborative robot. Uh, which is a product category invented in Odense by Universal Robots uh, based on research from the Mask Institute. And a lot of the other startups and scale-ups we see with success in the cluster has the same approach to robotics. It's something which is uh, easy to uh, implement, easy to uh, give new tasks that can support SME automation well mm -hmm. uh, and which is fairly cheap to buy um, at the beginning. So the collaborative robot is uh, a really, really strong position in the uh, cluster. How do you um, explain the specific Danish um, entrepreneurship, uh, community feeling? Is this something uh, which is uh, Scandinavian or is this uh, something you can suggest to other regions? Is but this a cultural actually, uh, principle? I think there's some, at least a, a different um, set of factors which is important here. The cluster of robotics in Odense is a perfect triple helix today, where you have uh, education, you have research. Um, it is also uh, um, part of the triple helix is, of course, also all the companies who can use the new technology and who has a close collaboration with the university. Actually, more than 60% of the companies in the cluster are closely tied to the university when we ask them about it. Um, a very important part of the Triple Helix is also the startup environment. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, the cluster in Odense today is uh, very much a cluster of young companies uh, who are working together uh, and developing their business. And the third leg of the Triple Helix is, of course, the public sector, which I'm a part of because my cluster organization is uh, owned by five municipalities, with the city of Odense as the largest. Um, and also, Besides the municipalities, we also have the region of southern Denmark who supports the company and who tries to, as we say in Danish, remove the, sh the stone from the shoes so the companies can run faster. Okay. <laughs> okay, Mikkel, thank you very much. And I wish you good luck with the continuous grow growth of your uh, activity.